from Crunch Econometrics. Thank you for joining me once again. I'm going to show you quickly how you can export your summary statistics table to Word and Excel. My variables are here as a group data. I double click on it. I maneuver to view. Descriptive statistics. I choose individual samples. So here you can see the summary statistics for the variable. As I've always said, it's better for you to use the raw variables and not the transformed variables. So how do we export this to, let's say, MS Excel? What I do often is I highlight everything. I go to Edit and I click Copy. The Copy Options box opens up and I click OK. Excel Worksheets, I click here and I simply paste. The way the output is pasted is not pleasing to the eyes at all. It's not presentable, it's not good looking. So I need to do something about this table if I need to report it in my manuscript or my thesis. So let me copy this one so that we can compare the before and after formatting. I take it below. So now I need to remove some statistics that I don't currently need. First one, I'm going to remove the median. Next, I'm removing Jacobera and probability. That will be relevant during my post estimation. So next, I'm removing some, some square deviations and observations. I don't need them right now. So these are the relevant statistics I need. I still need to make some rearrangements. I need to bring in standard deviation directly below mean. And then I need to bring in minimum before maximum. Next thing, I need to give this table a heading. I need to indicate is it summary statistics or descriptive statistics. Afterwards, I need to change the fonts from Calibri to Times New Roman. For the heading, I'm going to increase it to 14. Then I bolden it. And then I use this command, merge and center, for it. For the variables in their respective columns, I put them at the center. Here, I write variables. And for the variables heading, I bolden them. I put a thick border below the heading. I come here, and I select thick bottom border. Before I proceed, you can see that the statistics are showing plus 11, plus 10, plus 9, and you are wondering, how can I interpret this? These are in billions of US dollars. And it's not really nice for you to present your results in this scientific nature, because these are scientific figures. And I'm going to show you a PowerPoint slide now where I redenominated these statistics to make it more meaningful. Like I said, these are in billions of dollars. So on the screen is an example for the real GDP. You can see the statistics as obtained from e-views. They are in the scientific nature, plus 11, plus 11, plus 10, plus 11. In their real numbering, these are billions of dollars. But because we cannot place the billions the way they are, it's going to consume so much space we can easily redenominate by dividing by a million each. So when you divide all these numbers by one million, you come to this manageable figure. But the interpretation remains the same. For instance, for the mean value is 118 billion. So by the time I redenominate, I redenominate it to 118,000. But we'll put a million notation at the head of the table. So that when I'm interpreting, I'm going to interpret it in billions of dollars. This is what I mean. Look at the table below. So when you are reporting your summary statistics and you have figures having plus 10, plus 9, plus 8, please don't send your result like that. Redenominate it so that it can be meaningful and you still retain your interpretation. So this is how the final table will look like. We are going to create a row with a million notations, and we are going to include these manageable figures that we can easily relate with. So back to Excel, I'm going to click here and insert a row. So in this row, I'm going to put the dollar notation and the million sign. I will copy it across the cells. 
I won't copy for the exchange rate because that one is in rate form. I could just put percentage there. So now, what I need to do, I'm going to do it alone for the real GDP. Just to give you an idea of what I mean. So for the real GDP, I'll simply write 118,000. For the standard deviation, 156,000. For the minimum, is 15,800,000. ,000. For maximum, is 568,000. Remember, when you are interpreting, they will be in billions of dollars. Remember, skewness and ketosis just gives us an idea of the distribution of the variables. So next thing I can do, below here, I put a light border. I come here, bottom border, the thin one. At the column here, I put a right border. Below here, I put a bottom border. This is so much better than what I exported from eViews. Next, I put a note here and I can say RGDP colon and I spell it out real GDP. Do the same thing for all the variables. For instance, EDS colon external debt service i use the margin center to align it and lastly i put the source since i generated the table i indicate auto so here you can see that the table is much more better looks presentable than the way it was exported from eviews this was what we brought from eviews look at the difference so don't just splash your results Spend just a little time to make it presentable. So here is the summary statistics as exported from Avius. So next I'm going to show you how to take it to MS Word. Same way, highlight everything, go to edit, click on copy. The copy option box opens up, click OK. MS Word is already opened up, I just click paste. And again, just like I did in Excel, just do all the necessary formattings that you desire. In my own case, I'll remove the median, I'll remove Jacobian probability, I'll remove some, some square deviations and observations, and I will apply all the necessary formattings that I want. So this is just a very simple way by which you can export your summary statistics from eViews to MS Word. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos from Crunch Econometrics and hope to see you next time.